I see this all the time. We have these big life events like a birth of a child, a wedding, an awesome vacation, or some other type of life experience, and we rush to share it with others. We post a few photographs on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat, and that is where they live, and that is where they die. I say this knowing that any social media platform can end. Just ask MySpace or Friendster. Do you remember when Facebook and Instagram went down last week? I know I do. If you aren't careful, all of those memories and firsts will be lost forever. Your kid who you are so proud of will never see your happiness at his or her birth. Your family members, guests, will forget how awesome of an experience it was to celebrate your wedding because they are too eager to share it online instead of being in the moment. The next day it is on to something else that social media deems worthy of their attention. Social media used to be about sharing experiences and connecting with others. It is now a place where those memories only exist for a very short moment. It is why you should make photography albums and print your photographs. A photograph has about a 300 year shelf life. Let's take a wedding photograph for example. It will be important to your grandparents, to your parents, to you, to your kids, and to your grandkids. And that is a five generational swing of importance that that photograph will mean something to someone. After about that, you'll be lucky to be sitting in a box in someone's basement. Why should your photographs only exist online? They shouldn't. You should print your photographs because they mean more than you will ever know. I know, I know, we all fall into the traps of likes, heart-shaped smashes, and followers. Heck, in the past, I've even deleted posts if it had not gotten a few likes in the first few minutes after posting it. I just feel as if we have forgotten that photography is about the process and the print. It is not about the like. I remember taking my trusty Canon AE-1, shooting a roll of HP5, and rushing to the university lab to develop my film. I would then spend hours, hours in the dark room, making prints of really bad photographs. It didn't matter that my images were slightly out of focus. It mattered because I created something that I was proud of, even if it was technically a bad image. Today, with digital photography, it is click, 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 click until we capture an image that we will hope will take us from Joe Photograph to famous Joe Photograph. We then post said image online and wait for the oohs and the ahs and the heart-shaped smashes and the followers to come our way to like the rest of our work. Somewhere along the way that we forgot that photography is half shutter click and half print. One can exist without the other, but why should it? I have always felt that social media is a sham to begin with. Let me explain. Do you remember when you would post something online and then someone would see it chronologically? Then some exec thought it was a good idea to decide what they thought people wanted to see and started showing random algorithm of stuff to us. As photographers, we had to adjust. We had to tag people to our photographs. Then all of a sudden we couldn't, so we moved on to Instagram and then the rules would change there too. Chasing something that will consistently change will only drive you nuts. The rules will always change and your work may always be hidden to those who would like to see oh, no. it. Oh yeah! If you wanna make a lasting effect on your clients, send them that amazing photograph that you took. Don't post it online. Blow it up, number it, and autograph it. Your hard work and amazing photos are too good to die on Instagram, Facebook, or on your computer. Hey, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this. If you like it, I would love for you to give it a heart-shaped smash or hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you taking the time out of this. I'm praying for you, I love you, peace, I'm out. Game. <laughs> Blouses. <laughs> I was there.